Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. It's like, like, I, I'm from a small, I'm from a small city, rural, Louisiana, whatever. Yeah. A small city. And it's like, that's all we gotta do. Like, we work on stuff. We do yeah. these horses, whatever. We yeah. take care of stuff. <laughs> if a pipe busts in the house, we know how to fix it, whatever. Yeah, like country, <laughs> country boy stuff. Yeah. And the same thing, like, I feel like Houston. Like, and I have people at Acres Home. Yeah. Like Houston, I feel like I feel like Houston, like Houston, like a big country city. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you go to other cities like uppity guys and so like that. Man, you want to change the tire or whatever? But yeah, yeah. you come here, I, I I get that feel. That's me. Yeah, personally. Yeah, like a lot of people can't relate, man. I, it's it's crazy, man. Like it's, I appreciate that lady. You feel me? Like she she taught us a lot. And if it weren't for her teaching us that, we wouldn't. We wouldn't be doing so good, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this shit would have been ate us up. Underboss flawless say time break concrete. <laughs> yeah, You're right. It'll break a man. You hear me? You're right. <laughs> so, You're so right. You so I mean, right. I I took that and I ran with it. You hear me? Mm -hmm. So, but I want to yeah. say this, man. Like for the people who've never heard your R&B music, mm -hmm. what should they be expecting when they decide to go click that Apple Music link or that YouTube link? <laughs> what what should they be expecting when they hear you? Be blown away. I'm not your ordinary. I'm not. It's just not R and B. R and B, soul, pop. I even do rock. I even wrote a country song. Like I'm, I'm live, man. It's Deja Mori. Y'all gonna remember the name, the face. You know what I'm saying? And no, I'm not cocky. I just, I'm out of my shell. You feel me? Like I, I worked and I studied and I grind for this. Mm -hmm. So everything that I do, I put my all into it. You know what I'm saying? My mama always told me, if you're gonna start it, you better finish it. So. <laughs> it's, right. it's, yeah, the flame lit, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> see, like, and I'm, and I'm on your, I was on your Instagram page and I see you like, but you make videos singing sometimes yeah. in the car and stuff like yeah. that. Like, it's like a tool you're using to market yourself right now at the moment? It is, but I didn't even, I didn't look at it. I just like singing, man, and I told you, like, I'm coming out of my shell, so mm -hmm. I'm seeing, like I said, I'm seeing all my people, they, I prayed for their success years ago, and to see all of them getting they just do that shit, excuse me, that, it, it sparks me up, man. Like it, 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 it keep my fire burning, and it, and it make it burn faster. Cause I know, you know what I'm saying. That 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 those doors are steady opening. You feel me? Mm -hmm. My people's doors are opening. You know what I'm saying. I'm proud of them, and that made me feel like, hey, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. They they doing it. That's how I know I can keep going, and I can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got that same drive, that same motivation, that same hunger for it. Cause mm -hmm. we all from the same place. We all been through the same thing. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I see them doing. It. I'm proud of them boys, man. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm right behind y'all, you know what I'm saying? I know I tell y'all that every time, but with this Valentino project, I mm -hmm. feel it. It's, yeah. man, I got a bunch of stuff coming this year. Man, I can't, I, well, I know I can't wait, but I, I want to take it to another level. We talked about music, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm digging right now. Yeah. After my wreck a few years ago, mm -hmm. you mentioned, you said, the, doc, the doctor said that you wouldn't walk the same. Yeah. I would have a hard time remembering things that I should take it yeah. easy. I looked at the doc and I dropped tears. Yeah. And I locked him in his eye. I looked him in his eyes, I'm sorry. And I said, I'm on a mission. Yeah. You must not know who sent me. Yeah. They were shocked how fast I recovered. And and I'm back to shock the world. Yeah, true story. You know, November 10th, 2017. So a couple months ago, you wrote that. Yeah. That's what was all it about? Man, I, like, I went to Pennsylvania in 2000. 14 or 15, one of them. Yeah. Shit, I mean, man, that, that ain't never been hit that hard a day in my life, man. Don't, I'm gonna let it out. Yeah, I mean, that shit, I mean, like, um, I'm at work, you know what I'm saying, driving, and uh, a lady hit me from the side or whatnot, you feel me? And at first, you know, I didn't, I wasn't really, I didn't, I felt it, you know what I'm saying, but I was, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I guess I, my journey was rushing. I heard, it sounded like I heard like a kid cry, you feel me? Like scream, you know what I'm saying? What I should say. So, my first reaction was to jump out the truck and, you know what I'm saying? Where the kid I heard, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, did, she made me hit somebody. Like, I heard somebody scream, mm -hmm. you feel me? So, I'm looking. And then they like somebody said, I remember saying, somebody said, like, it ain't no kid, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no, you didn't hit nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I guess trying to, you know, get the, the picture back in my head. Mm -hmm. But, like, after that, I just remember me looking up, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like, just looking up at the sky, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, what the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, uh, my coworker said, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just gave out, you hear me? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I remember this shit, like, like I remember the, the, the hit, I remember getting out that motherfucker, but then I just remember just looking up, you know what I'm saying? And the whole time, I'm like, what the hell going on? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I can really, I mean, I know clouds move and shit like that, but I'm just, it was like, a, I got zoned, I got zoned in, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, like everything just slowing down. So, yeah. like, fuck. And I come to for a little bit, and I'm, I had, like, snuff in my mouth. I, was, I used to dip. Yeah. <laughs> so I had that snuff in my mouth, and I'm sitting there like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that out, and I'm like, damn, I can't move, you feel me? Like, like what the fuck, man? My coworker was, like, chill. So a lady, I guess she was, like, a doctor or somebody. You know what I'm and it was, was Lady Fall. She hit you. Yeah, yeah. She hit me. Like, she size fight me. I mean, and I, I didn't even really get no just do. All I got was, like, therapy. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, like two months. Like, not even, it was supposed to be two months of therapy. It wasn't, it didn't even last, like, four weeks, like a whole month. Like, because they said I was recovering too fast. What? Yeah, yeah. Is that legal? Like, I don't no. even, like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know. I mean, it's, like, I, I, that shit fucked me up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was out of work. Uh, shit, I mean, I I couldn't like walk out. You know what I'm saying? My like every time I get up, I'm like staggering and shit. And the shit like it would hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like I, I don't I'm 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 independent, but um you know what I'm saying? I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Being taught and, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and shit like that. But I'm independent. Like. I, I want to be able to walk on my own, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to be walking around staggering. I don't, every time I look somewhere, my fucking head is spinning. Mm -hmm. You can't watch the TV, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do nothing. Like, every time I look at a TV screen, it's like, mm -hmm. I hear sirens in my head. Wow. I couldn't put a phone up to my ear, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it, my head just started banging, like, you know, I was like crazy. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's driving me crazy, and, um, with me, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was my, uh, my fiance at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna marry her mm -hmm. or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? Much love, you know what I'm saying? They ain't work out much love though. Mm -hmm. But her and the, you know what I'm saying, the twins, they they looked out for me, you know what I'm saying? And they they helped me. Mm -hmm. And even though me and her separated, you know what I'm saying, she looked out for me in that for that but mm -hmm. that that whole situation is kinda of, I I remember it but it's just the doctors telling me that I can't I ain't gonna walk the same no more. Like, and somebody ever told you, like, you know what I'm saying, you can't do something, and, like, you feel like, damn, I can't do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, that shit, that shit, recovering from that, man, that that gave me a boost, too. So it was like a, you had more of, like, a mental thing. I'm going to get over this. Hell yeah, man. I told you, my granny ain't breathe no weakly. Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to get up and you're going to make it happen. I mean, you ain't going to give up as long as you open your eyes, keep going. Mm -hmm. If you want something, go get it, but you better work for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I worked every day for it. Walk, while she, like, I wasn't supposed to be walking and getting up and stuff. Shit, Whitney go to work, girls go to school. I mean, that bitch trying to do push-ups and mm -hmm. pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's hurting, but I'm like, man, I got to get out of this, man. I, I got to, nah, man, this ain't me. Yeah. So they, that was, that was like a, a nice little, little situation right there, man. That was, like, recovering from that. Did you, did, I mean, Going through this experience, that experience, did you like? Did you make music after uh, explaining what happened? Or? Um, I never, I never wrote a song to it, but I'm glad you said that because I got a, an album just to drop on my birthday this year, August 13th, mm -hmm. called "The Soul Eclipse" of Deja Mori. Mm -hmm. I'm just to get the people 13 chapters of me. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have a book and everything, like yeah. That's so I'm, I'm gonna hold this until that time. Man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna hold this until that time, like for real. Because if if you gonna have a project, it it only make do for all it to come out at one time. Yeah, you know. But like, you got some visuals to it, stuff like that, or just... yeah, I I haven't I've been writing it and playing it out because it's like it's basically gonna be like a movie script, mm -hmm. the visual. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking for some some decent like videographers and. If you are, I mean, I don't know how much your prices are like or whatever, but I, I know some videographers. Yeah. Well, I know some where I'm at. As far as Houston, I don't know too much about Houston, but I know some. It's a, it's a couple of them out here, man. I just, 
I mean, because I, 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 I like fucking with the cameras and shit, and I like writing scripts. I told you, I'm, I'm an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, when they, when they come, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I, when we link up, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, man. Mm -hmm. like, so, what, like, what's, what's gonna be the name of this project that we expecting in April? Which, uh, the one that you about to. But we talking about what's gonna be the name? Of no, that's in August. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's, that's August. August. I'm saying April. I'm saying yeah. April, August, whatever. So I mean, it's it's gonna have songs that explain me, like from childhood, growing up in Acres Home, uh, family issues. You know what I'm saying? Not like not understanding certain situations and growing up with that imbalance. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna have overcoming like the situation that just went went on when I just went on but recovering from that wreck and stuff like that. Relationships, it's gonna cause it ain't gonna I ain't gonna go too in, in depth with relationships because it's me, but I'm just gonna basically like sum it all up together mm -hmm. and and let the people know like it's it shouldn't be as bad as it is. Like I'm a singer, I'm a lover boy, I ain't gonna bullshit you. <laughs> but I mean I I just seen a bunch of different types of women, you know what I'm saying? I didn't grew I didn't fell off. I didn't grew more. You know what I'm saying, like mentally and and you know having more stability of my mind. You feel me? Like I understand the situation a little better. So I'm gonna have stuff like that in there. And I'm I, I did a song for my grandmother already, but I just want to give her a thank you song. I mean, like the last song it was like I like to say is R.I.P. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But this one, this one gonna be a thank you note. Well, I'm speaking of that. Well, I thought April you said August. I'm gonna drop something before then, but like b before you drop that album, mm -hmm. do you are you gonna have anything before then? Small EP? Or? Oh, I'm, man, I got a bunch of stuff going this year. I got <laughs> I got two little mixtapes I'm supposed to do, and I might do more by that time. Mm -hmm. One called uh, Trust the Process, mm -hmm. and uh, the next one gonna be called Thuggish Love Child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gay. That name was gay to me by my kinfolk, Young Boss. Yeah, <laughs> thug is love, yeah, thug is love child, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like a bone type of effect on that bone, 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 bone. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. Like um, for matter of fact, I'm gonna give him a little snippet of the little first little track. Uh, it's the thuggish, ruggish love, the thuggish, ruggish love child. Oh. It's the thuggish, ruggish love child. Man, yeah. some dope stuff. Yeah. I need to, I need to, I gotta tap into R&B a little bit more. Yeah. My chief, you say, you too mean, you need to listen to R&B. I'm like, I do. Like, man, it's some good stuff. Go like, check out that battle you know, team, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a jam, man, but I'm just, it's like, it's stuff just keep making me go back to it, go back yeah. to it. And now, like, you like, let me say, you the second, you probably the second. R&B guy, mm. like I said, I've been doing interviews for over two years consistently. Yeah, you like the second R&B guy out the ring, <laughs> and it's like, man, I gotta, I gotta tap into it. You know, yeah. I gotta tap into it. It's all good stuff, and and it's pure R&B. It's like, yeah. um, Tank, Tank, Ty Dollar, yeah, you know, Trey Songz just dropped that, that um, I that heard it. like a what, couple weeks ago. No, a week ago, last I week. I think, yeah, cause some one of my homies showed me that. Yeah, one of my homies showed me that. This some good stuff, man. What I've been That's listening. That's a badass song, man. I, 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 I want to do something to that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you should. Yeah. But I want to say this, man. Like, do you have any advice for anybody with this music stuff, life, before we close it out? Yeah. Um, Trust the process. I mean, your current situation ain't gotta be your uh, your final destination. You feel me? This music ain't it ain't what it seems to be. You feel me? It ain't it ain't just how can I say it? fun and games or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 fun. You have fun with it, but it ain't it's 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 more business too. It's more than just going into that studio and and recording a song and then just telling people, hey, I got this, man. It's it's business to this. So if y'all want to make it out here and, and be successful, I mean, first, perfect your craft, learn your business, and yeah. go full force, man. No stop, man. Oh, yeah, I want to say this, too. If anybody, anybody who go see this interview yeah. or whatever, they want to like, look, I like him, Gerald. Look, that dude, that dude got a nice voice, whatever. <laughs> How can they get in touch with you if they want to do a feature or whatever? Yeah, you can get at me, you know what I'm saying? I got a Facebook page, Royal Vibes of a True King. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go check that out. Y'all can contact me there. Instagram, DejaMari.Rise. That's D E 
J A M A R I dot R I Z E. You know what I'm saying? And you can also hit me up at that email too. You know what I'm saying? Same spell, everything. Dejamori.rise at gmail.com. Man, blessing. <laughs>